You know, before we get into today's episode, I just want you to know that I have a fantastic opportunity for you to lean in to becoming the best version of you. When we come into a new year, we bring so much excitement. We are so jazzed about everything it is that we want to accomplish. We get a fresh start. It seems like everything is new. But if we're not careful, we will retreat to going back to doing the same old thing. And what I want to help you do is lean into the better version of you. So I put this short video together on my website that I want you to check out. You see, the video will help you to understand and give you what you need to look for so that you don't fall into the trap of retreating to the same old things. I'm going to be sharing with you Five things that are likely standing in the way of you becoming the better version of you and living your best life. So visit my website today and check it out. I'm the good thing.com. Well, welcome to I'm the Good Thing, the podcast. This is the place where we unpack life wisdom. We pray, we affirm, and most of all, we discover our true beauty, our worth, and power. I'm Denise Taylor, and I'm all about helping women build a life they love. And that begins with us believing everything good about who God created us to be. Now, this is the place where we get energized in a God kind of way as we see ourselves the way God sees us. And let me tell you, sis, you are good. Now, today's life wisdom is this. Sometimes people change the plan on you. Go with your gut. Now, what I really want to focus in on is not so much the people changing the plan. We have all had situations where we were depending and counting on people to show up for us. And for whatever reason, it didn't happen. And instead of waddling on why their support fell to the wayside, I want you to lean into trusting yourself. You see, this whole notion of go with your gut, it's more to it than just a feeling. I want you to dig in deeper and really begin to trust your choices, your decisions, and your actions so that you can move seamlessly with intention. Now, to back that up, here's a few nuggets that I think you can keep in mind. The first one is when you face that situation, anchor in on embracing your power. One of the things I talk about a lot is the fact that God didn't give us fear. He gave us power. And when we embrace our power, we can be, do, have, and achieve. And in that moment, that moment of conflict where you were expecting things to go a certain way, instead of leaning into fear, I want you to lean into your God-given power. You see, one of the things that we have as a promise is that God would lead and guide us. He will protect us and he will order our steps. And so when we lean into his power, when we embrace the power he's given us, we can make the right decisions on what to do next. The second thing is I want you to tap into your experiences. You see, one of the things that makes us great is our ability to solve problems. We are go-getters. We are solution makers. And so in that instance, when it just didn't work out the way that you thought it would, instead of sulking and instead of waddling in disappointment, I want you to tap into your experiences. Because the reality is you have gotten over disappointment before and you have figured out your way before. And so the nature of people backing up shouldn't be a stumble for you. It should be something that you can go back to and realize you've been there and done that. The next thing I want to encourage you to do is to ask for help. 
And the unfortunate thing is in many situations, we focus on how we can go it alone. And just because one person or a group of people have disappointed you, that doesn't mean the rest of the world can't step in to help. And so when you're in situations and you know you need help, I want you to put your pride and ego aside and seek out the help that God will assure reaches you. And then finally, my last nugget to you is don't give up. You see, in developing this trust of ourselves, we got to keep going. We can't stall out. We can't give up. So our affirmation today is something that I'm sure you likely have heard before. And it's simply this, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And you have a promise and it's found in the book of Deuteronomy. And it's simply this, he will never leave you nor forsake you. Thanks for connecting with me today. If this was a help to you, apply what stood out the most to your life. If you loved it, subscribe so you can meet me here next time. And if you were moved, then share this with someone else. Keep seeing yourself the way God sees you. After all, you are the good thing. And visit my website, I'm the good thing.com for all sorts of good stuff. And I'll see you next time.